Crowds of people followed Jesus to the town of Capernaum. They wanted to hear about God's love. When there were crowds, Roman soldiers came to keep the peace. Roman soldiers didn't always get along with these crowds of Jewish people. One day, a Roman officer heard that Jesus was nearby. <laughs> no, not a roaming officer, a Roman officer. But this Roman officer had a problem, a big problem. His young servant was at home, sick in bed. No matter how his friends tried to help, the servant just got sicker and sicker. The Roman officer didn't know what to do, but then he remembered that no matter who you are, trust God. So the Roman officer went to Jesus and begged him to heal the servant. Jesus said, I will come and heal him. Hooray! Yeah! But the officer said, Lord, I am not worthy. Just say the word from where you are, and my servant will be healed. I know this because I have authority over my soldiers. I say, go, and they go. I say, come, and they come. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed. Jesus said, you have great faith. I said, faith, great faith, not a great face, although that is a great face. Jesus said, go back home. And the young servant was healed that very same hour. Yeah! No matter who you are, trust God. In the Bible, you can read about a man named Lazarus. Lazarus had two sisters, one named Mary and one named Martha. Jesus was good friends with Lazarus and his sisters. One day, Lazarus got sick. <coughs> his sisters and friends were worried about him. Then the two sisters had a great idea. They would call Jesus. So they sent Jesus a message because cell phones hadn't been invented yet. But even though Jesus loved Lazarus, Mary, and Martha, he stayed where he was. Meanwhile, Lazarus got even sicker. <laughs> Mary and Martha waited for Jesus to come, and Lazarus got sicker. <laughs> Nothing his friends did made him better. Mary, Martha, and their friends waited and watched for Jesus to come. But Jesus stayed where he was for two days. Finally, Lazarus died. His sisters and friends were so sad. They wrapped his body in strips of cloth and put him in a tomb with a big stone rolled in front. Jesus knew that Lazarus had died. He told his disciples, I'm glad I wasn't there, for now you will really believe. They were confused. Huh? Jesus went to see Mary and Martha. They said, if you had been here, our brother would not have died. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live, even after dying. Jesus said, roll away the stone. But Martha said, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Oh, oh, it's terrible. Oh, gross. Jesus prayed to God and then shouted, Lazarus, come out. Lazarus came out of the tomb. Jesus said, unwrap him and let him go. Yeah! Everyone that day learned that no matter how you feel, Trust God. You can read this true story from the Bible when you get home. It's in the book of Matthew, chapter 26. When they saw Jesus bring Lazarus back to life, lots of people believed in Jesus. But that made the religious leaders mad, and they plotted to get rid of Jesus. 
One night, Jesus and his friends went to a garden called Gethsemane. Jesus wanted to pray. Jesus told his friends to wait while he prayed to his Father. Just then, they heard a loud noise, the sound of marching footsteps. Someone was coming. Soldiers came to arrest Jesus, even though he had never done anything wrong. Judas, the traitor, pointed him out. They took Jesus to the house of the high priest. They had a fake trial in the middle of the night, and they said Jesus was guilty. They yelled at Jesus and called him names. They spit on him and slapped him. They tied his hands together and took him to stand before Pilate, the Roman governor. Pilate didn't think Jesus had done anything wrong, but the crowds didn't care. They wanted to crucify Jesus. Pilate washed his hands of Jesus and ordered the Roman soldiers to take Jesus away. Judas, who had betrayed Jesus for 30 silver coins, felt terrible for what he had done. He threw the coins on the ground. The Roman soldiers beat Jesus and hurt him. Then they led him away to be crucified. But no matter what people did to him, Jesus still trusted God. We can trust God too. Stop. Hold everything. This story isn't over yet. Trust God. After Jesus was arrested, the Roman soldiers forced him to carry a heavy wooden cross through the city. Crowds stood along the road and yelled, Crucify him! Crucify him! They went to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull. That's where they crucified Jesus and two criminals. The soldiers nailed his hands and feet to the cross. He hung on the cross for hours. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land. At about three o'clock, Jesus cried out, and then he died. At that moment, the earth shook and rocks split apart. It was a terrible earthquake. The Roman soldiers were terrified. One cried out, this man truly was the son of God. Jesus' friends were so sad. They wrapped his body in linen cloth and laid it in a new tomb. They rolled a giant stone in front of the tomb's entrance. Early on Sunday morning, as the new day was dawning, a few women went to visit the tomb. When they got there, suddenly there was another earthquake. An angel of the Lord had come down and rolled away the big stone. The angel's face shone like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The angel said, don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. He has risen from the dead. The women were so happy. They ran to tell their friends that Jesus was alive. Jesus died to take the punishment for the wrong things we all do. When we tell Jesus we're sorry, he'll forgive us. And when we believe in Jesus, we can live with him forever in heaven. That's great news! In fact, it's such great news that Jesus says to tell everyone about him. Jesus' friends were sad when he died, but then they were happy when he came back to life. They learned that no matter what happens, trust God. Baby
want to play with you all year long. Because no matter where you are, trust God. Come join me and my buddies at foreverybody.com. Come play games and learn more about trusting God, no matter what. See you there.